You know how mercury is a liquid metal? Well, would you believe me if I were to tell you that there's another liquid metal that, when it reacts with water, releases more energy, gram for gram, in an explosion than TNT when it detonates? <laughs> this is metallic sodium, and it reacts with water to give sodium hydroxide, that's basically drain cleaner, hydrogen, that's the stuff burning here, and about 8 kilojoules per gram of energy. Gram for gram, that's about twice as much energy as TNT gives off when it explodes. So that's sodium. That's potassium, which is basically the same stuff apart from when this reacts with water, it only releases about half the energy that sodium does. So this releases about the same energy when it reacts with water as TNT when it explodes. And it's a good thing that my skin's so watertight, otherwise it would make handling these metals like this all but suicidal. In fact, counterintuitive though it is, this is actually my preferred method of handling these metals, because these things, like with gremlins, there's only one unforgivable sin. Don't get them wet. <laughs> But this is the thing, I can tell very well if my fingers are wet or not. It gets much harder if I actually put gloves on. And if this stuff does get wet, rubber gloves will offer almost no protection at all from this stuff. Indeed, I can tell you that if this stuff does get very excited and actually catches fire or similar, it'll burn through gloves like these in about two seconds. <laughs> Trust me, that one's personal experience. But here's the interesting thing, if I get sodium that's solid and potassium that's solid and I actually mix these two together, I actually get a liquid. So this is how it's usually done. I mix the two metals together under a liquid of some form, usually an unreactive solvent, just to keep the air mostly away from this stuff. And yeah, a shot glass is actually a pretty good vessel for doing this in. Anyway, a bit of smushing later and you get the sodium-potassium alloy. The ratio of which you mix these two, of course, matters, but it turns out most mixtures of sodium-potassium alloy are actually liquid at room temperature. But the beautiful thing is, is when you actually take this alloy out, and okay, it looks fairly ugly at the moment, and then you add a single drop of ethanol or alcohol or similar, and you get this beautiful clean surface that's, it, it really is just the most beautiful shiny metal. However, this really is Beauty and the Beast, because when this metal reacts with water, it's actually more energetic than when TNT explodes. And this is what I mean. This is a single drop of sodium-potassium alloy reacting with water. Oh, I'm glad I had to quench you on that. I just licked my sound, I'm not sure. It's not good. It's... Oh, excellent. Perfect.